<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and today, so excited because I am finally bringing you a 2021 Ford Explorer tour. Now the Ford Explorer got completely redesigned for 2020. Pretty excited about some of these upgrades. I want to give a special thanks to Dave Sinclair here in St. Louis for giving us the car for the afternoon. It is a 2021 Ford Explorer ST that has been tricked out. They do a lot of really cool like custom paint work here, which is very exciting. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and comment below about which cars to tour next. All right, let's get started. Okay, do not lie to me. If you just saw the side of this car, would you not think it was a Range Rover? Obsessed with the black roof. This car is in the black mirror. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. But let's start with the front end like we normally do. As far as the exterior goes, the hood lines are kind of subtle, but overall it has a very masculine look. I really, really like how the gloss black accents really highlight the good features about the car. I think the grille looks great. I love the gloss black mirror caps. The wraparound headlights look awesome. And overall, I'm just really impressed with how high-end the body style looks. One thing I love, this little Explorer badging right into the headlights. I think that looks amazing. Going into her side profile, some really nice body lines. I love this belt line that goes all the way across there. And then again, just the black accents that are on this car, like the black mirror caps, the black wheels, even the red um, brake calibers, oh, amazing. Moving on down, I mean, well, I mean, it's good looking. These windows look pretty small compared to the rest of the door. Just something to note, I kind of like it. Again, everything about this car is just so sporty. Moving around to the back, we start with the wraparound taillight. Taillights here are snooze city. I mean, there's just nothing to talk about. I mean, this is what they, this could be on a 2002 Taurus for all I know. Like the taillights are just doing nothing for me. Explore badging right there. And then yeah, you know, the back end's kind of lackluster. I mean, they could have at least put that up there little light bar right here that's kind of nice so front end side profile I love her the side profile is where she really shines and you know what that's where a lot of us don't shine so we can respect a good side profile okay it's so windy okay let's check out that interior starting with the door panels pretty simple we've got our speakers right here but look how it like kind of has a design element to it isn't that kind of cute buttons are super simple a high gloss black our side cubbies are down there let's check those on for size Ooh, that fits so nicely and then still room for like wallet diapers whatever else we have okay pretty exciting let me get you on the other side okay so let's start breaking down some of this interior starting off steering wheel very simple honestly ford sometimes love them love you ford you just fall a little flat on some of the interior upgrades sometimes i just think things look very industrial everything looks like the f-150 on the inside especially like in the steering wheel and some of the infotainment system. I do really like that we have a digital dash on here. I think that looks really great. We've got some good steering wheel controls, everything from automated cruise control to Bluetooth, being able to control the volume, changing the radio station, answering phone calls. So that's really handy. We've got a little stop start button right here, which I do like this feature. It's almost like this faux carbon fiber material up here. So no wood trim again, cause she's just too sporty to be bothered with wood trim. That kind of faux carbon fiber looks really nice. This is hysterical. Like if my son saw this, he'd be like, iPad, mommy. Like he would ask, he would try to take this off of here. I mean, this is a freaking iPad plastered onto here. I, I mean, whatever. I'm not obsessed. And like, my problem is, is like, it needs to be a little angled towards me. Cause I feel like I don't have the best visibility on that. So I'm not in love with it, but I, I am in love with the infotainment system. Like, I think it's so responsive. I mean, it looks like a freaking, it looks like a freaking iPad. I think it's really responsive. It's full color. It's, it's a great size. I just don't like that I just was plastered on here. Moving into some of these other buttons, you guys know piano gloss black, not my fave. Yes, it's darling. Yes, it is the worst culprit for showing fingerprints, but we've got great things like ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, heated seats in this trim level, all of the climate control. We've got parking sensors, backup camera, surround view camera, blind spot, automated cruise control. I mean, she is completely loaded with all the safety features. As far as our comfort features and things like that are concerned, um, we've got this exciting little cubby right here. Very nice size. We also have a 12 volt, a USB and a USB C. We've got a little, I think this is like the phone holder. Yeah, we love a fold holder. We love a phone holder. And then we have two cup holders, a giant cup. 
and it works with a 40 ounce reduced cup. Oh my gosh, I always get so excited every time I discover it. That's so fun. Right down here we have our shifter. It's like a little dial, which is kind of cool. We have our parking brake and then some other of our driver's features down there. Our wireless charger is here. And then our center console is actually a pretty decent size. It's not very wide, but it is very deep. And then we have another 12 volt in there. So pretty nice. I don't know, I mean, I don't love this, but I really do like a lot of other things from the interior. The seats are very comfortable, especially these ST seats. I mean, first of all, the ventilated seats are very, a very nice touch and I'm loving the contrast stitching that's in these black seats. I think that looks really nice. The panoramic sunroof is amazing, lighting in so much natural light. The mirrors are really great size. Wow. All right, let's hop into that second row. Okay, so let's talk about my second row comfort. Now I have this seat set for myself and I'm pretty tall, about six feet tall. I have this seat pushed all the way back. I mean, amazing knee clearance. I am so comfortable. If I move this seat all the way forward to give the third row more space, I still have good knee clearance. So, you know, if I meet somewhere in the middle, everyone's happy. Now, as far as some of my amenities are concerned, let's start with this door panel. Sunshades, we love sunshades. We love built-in sunshades. I hate the aftermarket ones. First of all, they don't work. Second of all, you can't roll down the window. So like, how annoying is that? We love sunshades. This is getting me excited, this right here. Dang. Okay, it's not the best cup holder I've ever seen, but it is a cup holder. Like a Starbucks Grande, like a sippy cup, like things could work there. Side cubbies down here. Okay, they're just like a little short, but they're there. So it's like they're there, they're just not great. Um, ceiling vents, love to see ceiling vents. And I love and appreciate and respect when a vehicle can do a sunroof and ceiling vents. Because other brands are like, we can't do both. And Ford's like, why? Why can't you do both? Because they just did it. And I'm so excited about the ceiling vents. We have our climate control down here, a USB, a USB-Z, and Ford's come with outlets. I love outlets for the flexibility and also like pure a pumping mom like I used to be like you have a place to plug your breast pump in like that's important for driving and pumping very very exciting we also have heated seats in this trim level on these two seats which is, which is exciting now the Ford Explorer does come with a bench or captain's chairs obviously I'm doing the captain's chairs today Ford also previously came with inflatable seat belts it's kind of hard to get a straight answer on which cars come with inflatable seat belts if inflatable seat belts are still a thing you would know if you had inflatable seat belts because they would look a lot different than this the thing to know about inflatable seat belts is it can be difficult to install car seats because not all car seats, in fact, very few car seats are compatible with inflatable seat belts. So just something to know if you are shopping for Ford Explorer, make sure it doesn't have inflatable seat belts and if it does, make sure your car seat's compatible. Okay, let's chat a little about the car seat setup because I'm actually kind of excited about it. Someone even say surprised, shocked. Okay, so when you get the captain's chairs, this is a six passenger vehicle. There are only two seats in the third row. Now guys, let me tell you something, that's fine because the other vehicles of this size that put three seats back there, they're being rude to the person in the third in the third row because there's three people cannot fit back there comfortably. So I'm actually okay to only see two seats back there. Just note, this is a six passenger car. Now, Every seat is honestly looking like it kind of smacks from a car seat setup, which is very exciting because every seat has its own set of lower anchors and its own tether anchor. So like the flexibility is amazing in this vehicle. The only thing that's a bummer is there is no way to access the third row with a car seat, but there are captain's chairs. So you could utilize this aisle right here um, as a way to enter the third row. But another thing that I'm not obsessed with is there's this thing, which cannot be removed. So it's fine. So this thing's fine, but like, as you can see, like people could just trip, like it just, you gotta be careful. You gotta step over things. You might knock a water cup, like God forbid someone had like a cup of coffee there. There's things to just be careful about. So I like the flexibility. I just wish the access was a little bit easier. So today I have brought some props as usual. I have my Kleck Ling, that's my daughter's car seat. I have a gray coat extended fit. I put forward facing in the third row and then I also have a stroller. So let us give you an idea of how everything fits. Okay, want to chat a little bit about the spacing as far as the car seat setup is concerned. This is a Kleck Ling. It is an infant pumpkin seat. It is a big car seat, really great clearance, especially for a tall driver like myself. I still have several inches. I also like how wide these doors open to make that super easy to pull a child in and out. I like it. My only gripe, and I didn't like this about the last one, the lower anchors are just buried in the leather. And like, I know all the tricks. I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. I'm just saying, like I'm out of breath from just trying to do it. Like it just takes some love and affection because those lower anchors are buried. So just something to know. Okay, so I do want to talk about that third row access if you don't have a car seat installed. So here's how you do it. Well, first of all, this thing can make this thing either 
fly like this or can recline the seats. If you're looking for a little bit more access though, there's a button at the top here, and then it's kind of like a one touch button. So one thing I do wish about the Ford is I wish I had an option for that button to be somewhere down there, just because I feel like when we're thinking about who's actually going in that third row, a lot of the times it's children, and they may not be able to reach that. So I wish there was some way to do it down there. Um, but as far as my spacing goes, you know, it looks pretty good back there. Let's climb on back there. Yeah, I feel really good about only having two seats back here. So I have a gray co extended fit. I installed it forward facing with seat belt and the tether anchor, obviously. Really fits great. As you can see, we're not dealing with any overhang right there. Feel really good about the installation. The headrests in these cars, I'm, they don't seem to be removable, but I didn't really have an issue with them. So everything looks good there, like they weren't affecting me getting a good installation. Ceiling vents right here, amazing. I mean, wish the car was on because I'm freaking hot. Um, other amenities that are concerned, we have cup holders on either side. No USBs back here, which does kind of surprise me, but that's okay. Um, and let's push this thing back and kind of see the space we're dealing with. Okay, so even with this seat pushed all the way back, I'm still doing okay. And this seat could definitely go up a little bit. So Betsy, why don't you move it up just a, just a hair? Okay, so then with this seat being pushed up a little bit, great knee clearance. And like, look at all my elbow clearance. I mean, I love that I'm not squished against this person. I mean, I really just can't say how much I appreciate only having two seats back here and like not trying to make it a third. Because even if you don't put a third person back here, by the time you, took, by the time you account for where that third seat belt is, like someone's sitting on it. So either it's affecting the car's insulation, it would be affecting how I would sit, but I, okay, why am I so hyped about this third row? Now I do really like having the button up here because as a third row passenger, it's very easy for me to exit the third row. But I, like I said, I just wish they would have put an additional button on the lower part so that children could get out. Okay, trunk time. Look how cute this is. They give you a little arrow and they're like, hey, it's over here. It's a little arrow. And you just press the little button. Trunk pops open. And then here's the trunk space we're working with. So. I'd be lying if I said it was a ton, because honestly, it's not the most trunk space I've ever seen. However, you can open up this part for a little bit of added area. We've got a 12 volt back here. Lights right there, no lights here. Would love a little bit of lights, just like for fumbling around in the dark or like, you know, late at night. The seats are on a split bench. And another thing I really liked was that I was able to put this seat down even though I had a car seat installed here. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's completely power, but it's pretty quick. And I like that it's a headrest and goes down in the exact same time. You don't have to worry about pressing two buttons. Um, so I do like that. However, I would just caution parents to th when you're thinking about how you're gonna be utilizing this car, it does get very dangerous when we talk about just putting half of the third row down, because then if you have a child here and you're planning on putting big things like strollers or groceries here, well, in the event of a collision, that can make this seat very, very dangerous. So I do not recommend utilizing the trunk space like this, but I just wanted to show it. Okay, we're gonna try to put the trunk, I'm gonna try to put this back up and I'm gonna see if I can get a stroller in here. Okay. Wow, okay. So as you can see, I did have to kind of open up, oh, I forget, she tells me. I did kind of have to open up this second part just to get a little bit more clearance. I also didn't like how like high up this tire was, like that was just kind of stressing me out. So it fits. It's not perfect, but it's working. Okay, that, I'm gonna say that works. That's a win for me, Ford, good job. Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up my 2021 Ford Explorer Tour. Gonna to be honest, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm impressed with the car seat setup, I'm impressed with the aesthetics of the car, I'm impressed with the comfort and the drive. This car, is so zippy, so peppy. It drives so sporty and I really love it. I mean, it drives, you know, I mean, I guess I didn't think it would drive like the Expedition because obviously it is so much smaller, but honestly, it has some really, really good performance to it. So I'm really excited about that. Like I said, the comfort features are great. This car seat setup's great. Okay, Ford Explorer. I think you might just make my top 10 list. I'm genuinely very, very excited about it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hey guys, let's build my very own 2021 Ford Explorer. So I know the one I did in the video is stunning, but keep in mind she had a lot of custom work done to her. Um, she was also very expensive. So I am going to try to be a little bit more cost effective this time around and just try to keep the things that I liked. Um, and you know, whenever we're talking about different trim levels, 
As far as the spacing and the car seat setup is concerned, and just kind of like the overall functionality of the vehicle, those are going to be the same throughout all trim levels. So that's why I actually kind of enjoy doing the lower trim levels because a big portion of my tours is the spacing and not so much the fancy features. But that being said, I'm normally a pretty big fan of the XLT trim level in the Fords because I think they prioritize some of the comfort features like a power tailgate, like heated seats, but they also still give you that Ford Copilot 360, which is a lot of the crash prevention features. So I'm thinking XLT, but I'm curious to see what I get with the Limited. Um, and it does look like I get the 360 camera, which is fun. Ooh, I don't know if I even get leather seatings until I get to the Limited. I'm probably going to choose Limited. I'm just like trying to like just take a second. Yeah, we're going to go up to the Limited because, oh my gosh, look, a $10,000 price difference. Maybe we're not. Ooh, let's compare trims. Sorry, taking the scenic route here. I need to see... Okay, so here we go. I love when I love 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 when they do this. So again, I did the ST. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna look at these two because oh, sunshades in the second row only on the limited. That's a point to the limited. Remote start standard. That's a point. Wireless charging pad. Universal garage door opener. Yep, I'm thinking I'm gonna need to do the limited. Leather seating services, standard. Okay, so I need to get the limited because I really do need to have leather. Okay, thanks for staying with me on the scenic route there. We're gonna go up to the limited. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I just, I really love leather. It would be really hard for me not to have leather. And it, oh, okay. You know what they do there? They just they just keep adding it up. Okay, I'm gonna try not to add anything else. So I don't wanna, ooh, Atlas Blue. What? Oh, I love it. Let's also look at the white. I like the white, but I just feel like white and black is like, especially black is like so police car vibes. So I'm going to do the blue. So it's just like totally different. So this green. Oh, do I want to do the green? Okay, I'm going to do the green and I'm excited about it. Oh my gosh, of course I need to add all wheel drive because here's the thing about the Ford Explorer. I didn't mention this in my tour. It's rear wheel drive, which rear wheel drive is better for towing, but it is way worse in, for like snow or inclement weather, in my opinion, than a front wheel drive car. So like you need four wheel drive. Um, packages, I really don't want to add any of these. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be done. I'm going to just like, I'm going to be done. I had fun. I'm going to be done. And I'm under 50K, which is very exciting, which is still very, very expensive. Um, but that brings my 2021 Ford Explorer Limited to an MSRP of 49145 